Can't go that way? Hey guys, so we finally made it to Laredo and we got to uh, Riviera Del Mar RV Park. We're lucky enough to find spots over here because we went to two campgrounds and they were solid book. And let me tell you, Laredo is not RV friendly. The streets are tiny or small, it's hard to go by, so I'm happy we made it and I'm happy we're parked. We also hit a tope. It looked so tiny, but anyway, it did damage to the casita. So the jack is crooked again. It's holding on the car jack and two candlesticks. So Monday, uh, the lady from the RV campground, she says she knows the welder. Hopefully we're gonna get this fixed for next to nothing. And uh, and the price over here is $18 US per night. So we have electric. We don't really use their water. It's supposed to be Wi-Fi. Not sure how fast it is. I mean, campground is really busy, so I'm pretty sure everybody's on it. But we'll let you know. Fingers crossed. So the guy just got here. He's gonna fix it. He's charging us 350 pesos. I think it's decent. So, what happened was, this lifted, right? And you could see this broke. So it made the jack tilt this way. So for 350 pesos, he's gonna fix that. And hopefully it's gonna look good as new. Thumbs up, much better than it was before. If you're in Laredo and uh, you need any maintenance on your rig, Rubens. Oh, uh -huh. pardon me. No, 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 Six one three zero. Show you guys a little bit of the campground. Tight spot. This is what to expect in Mexico. So if you're electric, you definitely need an adapter. Water and you're dumping. It 
showers. At least they have hot water, so. And good pressure. Dishwashing station. A little barbecue. That's Mexico, tons of dogs. At least those are fenced in. A good 40% of them are not, so they come towards you. See, look. We're here in Laredo for five days, so Monday to Friday. And the uh, main reason is because cell signal is great. And it's actually the first campground that we have that More dogs. It's actually the first campground that we have Wi-Fi from the Casita, and it's pretty strong. So we're going to be working Monday to Friday, and then we're going to take the weekend to go explore. Since it's daylight, it's a little windy though. Going to show you guys a little bit of the square area. Very nice, nice restaurants. So right here it's the square. Tuesday, it's a little quiet. Capital Historica de las Californias. Hey guys, we're leaving Laredo just in time because it's raining. And yeah, let's chase the sun all the way down to La Paz. We might stop in between, not sure where. Morning, Bill. Here you go. So we made it to the campground. Campground looks nice so far, not busy. So now it's time to go pay the fees and get settled. Right next to the campground Misiones, there's a bod Bodega Aurora, and it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, belongs to Walmart apparently. So it could be a cheap imitation of a Walmart. Let me show you around. Cafe. 
Oh, Americano. This is my favorite area. To be avoided when you're starving. Do not come here. So this is our groceries. Hey, good morning guys. Saturday and uh, yeah, all set, ready to go. Next stop is La Paz. So see you there. Your destination is on the left. So we just made it to the campground in La Paz. Uh, campground looks big a little pricey because you don't have that many options in La Paz and I think we're gonna stay here something like a week so yeah I think there's two or three options and that's pretty much it so we just arrived and I went to check in and I'm gonna get out and stretch my legs it is a little windy that's why I'm inside the car but uh, yeah, so can't wait to check out La Paz and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be fun. So we are at the marina in La Paz. Woo! And uh, honestly, I'm very impressed. It's a beauty. Isn't La Paz the capital or something? Yes, it is. Capital of what? Of Baja? Uh, of BCS, of Baja South. Of Baja South, so it's the capital, and it shows because it's gorgeous, beautiful, and I mean, there's no garbage anywhere, and they have amazing bike paths. Green. Now, anyway, we're gonna walk by it. So this is the marina, and we're about to explore a little bit. The famous <laughs> sprinter guy. What's <laughs> happening? I'm good. Are you, Brian? Not See? Bad. So we decided to come straight to La Paz. I guess. They got great vegan options. So, what time is it? Five o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, usually we have our dinner at 4 30, so I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to get my food. I feel like 70 years old, we eat at 4 30. It's yeah. crazy, right? Well, 4.30, so it's like 6.30 back home. Yeah, true. Well, 7.30, because it's 5.30 right now. We're on Eastern Standard Time right now. Yeah. So what beer did you get? Corona. It's a classic. A classic. Yeah. I got some sparkling water, and even Fee got some water. Fiona, you get some water over there? Hey, baby? Yeah. Next door, that dog is vigorously guarding his property. Um, 
He seems to bark at everything that goes by, poor thing. I hope he gets exercise. Anyway. I'm liking the spot. I like yeah. the sun. The sun, yeah, no kidding. It's and good. It's so windy, so. Yeah, it's so. Good to warm up a little. Yeah, we walked already seven and a half kilometers. Pretty so, warm. along the Malacon, it was four kilometers one way, so eight kilometers round trip. That's great exercise for all three of us. It was all around a beautiful Saturday. Looks good. Ooh. What do you got there? Not sure. Bean burger, I think. So it's a bean burger with kind of a potato cheese and we have rustic fries, and chips sweet potato fries. and sweet potato fried chips. Bon appetit. With a veganese. Bon appetit.